Today we'll talk about how to monetize a Unity WebGL game with a new asset that I've created. And the way we're gonna do this is via an app called Coil. And Coil allows you to get paid for what you post online. Uh, right now, it is a browser plugin. However, in the future, it looks like they're trying to get it to be a browser standard and built into all the browsers. So how does web monetization work and how can we make a game that actually takes web monetization events and makes something cool happen? Well, first, let's go ahead and show you the end result of what we're building here. This is the web monetization demo. And actually, let's go ahead and refresh this. Um, as you can see, this is white now, but it turns to green when the first monetization event happens. And every time these coins fall down, uh, you're actually getting a little bit of money from whoever is watching your game. Now, if you look up here, this is the Quail plugin. And as you can see, I'm actually streaming money uh, to the content creator, which in this case is myself. So let's actually talk a little bit more about what it means to have a web monetization monetized game. So let's go over into this article right here and I'll put it up on the screen. Um, but this article basically tells you about how to write a web monetized game. And this article kind of assumes that you're not using Unity and you're just using standard web technologies. But I have created this asset that will make this super easy in Unity. So let's go down here. Um, the basics are you just add this monetization tag and you go to coil.com, create a creator account, and you'll be able to get a string that looks kind of like this. Uh, I think they give you this part. You have to put this meta tag at the top. Um, the asset that I created for Unity actually um, doesn't require this. Um, but anyway, let's, let's dive in and see how this, this is actually going to work. Okay, so here's Unity Hub. I'm going to create a new project. And we'll call it test monetization. And we'll make it a 2D project and click create. Now, just a quick note, I'll be uploading this to the asset store soon, but it's going to be available on uh, GitHub for now. And you're this project is actually not set up. In the releases directory, there's going to be a Unity package that you can import into your project. Uh, hopefully it'll be even a little bit easier with the Unity Asset Store, but for now, you're going to go to this page on GitHub. So let's put this front and center here. And the first thing we're going to do is import that package. And here we go. Here's the Webmon 1.0 Unity package. We'll import that. And we'll go into web monetization and we'll go to our sample scene and double click this. Now, if you don't know how to export to Unity WebGL, it's pretty straightforward. But to do this, you would just go settings, build settings. You select WebGL here, add your open scene. Uh, we're going to remove the sample scene and you click switch platform and then build and run. We'll call it web GL build. Click save. Now this, this takes a long time. So um, I'm actually going to cancel out of this right now, but that's how you export to unity web GL. All right. Well, unity actually crashed on me, but uh, here we are again. We're going to go back into our web monetization sample scene, double click that. And let's see how this actually works. Um, so in the top level folder, you have everything you need to build this scene. Um, and just for a little bit of more info, the way I set this up was to just create a couple of square sprites. And I believe I set these ones to, um, let's see, the rigid body is static. Um, and then I also set up this, uh, this square up at the top that actually makes the coins fall out as web monetization events occur. So the first thing that you need to do to get this to work is to drag the prefab web monetization broadcaster into your scene. And as you can see, that's already in here. 
The next thing you'll want to do is in the properties window, you'll want to set your payment pointer oop, to that uh, payment pointer tag that you got from coil.com. And then the final thing you want to do is have some sort of object that's going to respond to these events. Um, so in this case, it's the coin bucket. I'm sorry, it's actually the coin spawner in this case. So let's go ahead and double click this script here that I've created. And this script is called spawn prefab on monetization. So what this does is it spawns a coin prefab when you've uh, actually get a monetization event. Um, let's see where I got this code from. You go back into web monetization and you go into script. Uh, you want to look at WM receiver. And here's the the WM receiver code. Basically what I did was I copied this code from WM receiver and I went ahead and pasted it into my spawn prefab on monetization. Let's center this window. So what we're doing in this receiver event is we're actually adding the on monetization start and progress events. Um, and this is just a way you register events in Unity. And that WM broadcaster actually sends out these events. So on enable, we register the events and on disable, we remove the events. When monetization starts, right, we have this function here that is defined here on monetization start on monetization start. When it actually starts, we take the, um, the component of this, which remember is that bucket, and we turn the color to green. Um, as you can see, there's also a detail parameter that gives you some extra information. And you might want to look at parsing that um, in order to you know, do something extra special. Um, for instance, if you see lots of coins or something. The monetization progress event, this happens about one or two seconds, every one or two seconds. And this one has a couple of details as well in the detail object. And down here is how you parse them. In my case, I have a prefab attached to this game object. Um, let's see where that is. It's a public uh, field right there. And that, that would be the coin. And when an, a monetization progress event occurs and there's a prefab, we go ahead and spawn a new coin. Now, this also gives you some other information, like I said, like the amount and uh, the asset code. So it could either be US dollars or XRPs or other types of cryptocurrency that come in. But just to be aware, you could potentially do something like you could give a certain amount of in-game rewards based on the amount of coinage that people are sending you. Now, if you want to use my website here, Simmer.io, um, it really is just a drag and drop. You take your Unity build and you drag it into this scene. Um, as you can see, this is an old version of the simulate monetization that I had set up. Um, and then the, the other cool thing that you could do at Simmer is actually let me go into my profile and find an existing game that I've uploaded. Let's just go with this one, edit game. And as you can see, I have a web monetization pointer that you can set up in here. Uh, this is completely optional. If you use the, um, the Unity asset, it should auto inject your monetization pointer. Um, but this is for people that want to do sort of a lighter integration with web monetization. They can very simply add the coin payment pointer or the coil payment pointer right up top. And you can add a little message that says, hey, thanks a lot for supporting my work. Anyway, this asset is free. I hope that you enjoy it. Um, if you do, make sure to like this video, start on GitHub or like it in the Unity Asset Store. Leave a good review. Anyway, thank you so much, and I will talk to you guys later.